the last time this happened, Russia was the Soviet Union and Leonid Brezhnev was in the Kremlin. Not since 1976, nearly half a century, has Moscow sent a rocket to the moon. But they, and many others, are seeking a new first. For this, the Lunar 25 to land on the moon's south pole, something no nation has done before, and potentially find water. I hope that we will be the first. And if, of course, water is found, a very serious prospect opens up. That is, building a lunar base. Welcome to the new space race, where geopolitics becomes astropolitics, and this current set of galactic games is a lot different to the last one. Time for this nation to take a clearly leading role in space achievement, which in many ways may hold the key to our future on Earth. That Cold War battle was about proving who was on top. The Russians had just got Yuri Gagarin into space first. That's one small step for man. But then Neil Armstrong made it onto the moon. One giant leap for mankind. It was all macho, rocket-swinging, one-upmanship. But they all went and came back. Now, they all want to stay. This time the idea is that, again, it's not just going back to the moon, but it's can we build a base on the moon? Can we do long-term science experiments on the moon? Can we pave a way that eventually we'll be able to get humans from the Earth to the moon and eventually to Mars? Russia isn't alone in this. China became only the third country to land a spacecraft on the moon in 2013. India's Chandrayaan-3 mission took off last month and is hoping to land on the moon by late August. But the Americans are still the only ones to have had boots on the lunar ground. NASA's Artemis project hopes to do that again by the end of 2025. But who will get to the all-important lunar south pole first? The place where scientists believe there's water. In those permanently shadowed craters, there is believed to be frozen water in the form of ice. And when we're thinking about kind of long-term habitation on the moon, it's going to be incredibly useful to have some of these resources that we know humans need to survive. The far side of the moon is extremely rugged. And that could even include minerals and sources of energy. But with countries fighting to get there first, are there any laws governing all of this? The Americans want countries to sign the Artemis Accords, a set of space principles. But China and Russia haven't agreed, leading NASA's head to warn that Beijing might way. occupy the moon. China public, rejects private. that. Our space force is defending our country. And it was Washington, after all, who set up the US Space Force, a new galactic fighting unit. We will imagine the unimaginable, anticipate the inconceivable. Yes, it is secure. Cooperation in space is still possible for the greater good, as we see even today with the International Space Station, cosmonauts and yeah, astronauts to working together. But with Russia about to pull out and planning a rival lunar base alongside China, could the divisions on Earth soon replicate themselves in the skies and stars above?